That's it. Hey guys, what's up? It is a hot, hot Saturday afternoon. It's about noon. It's right at noon. Yeah, so sun's out and blaring. I'm currently on the way to our storage. I'm meeting up with uh, Jeff Banks, also known as DJ Bizzle. You guys have seen him on plenty of our videos here on YouTube. And we are going to be testing out these power supplies for the Cold Spark machines. A lot of you guys are using these. Rick Webb's using them. Uh, they make life so much easier and well i hope at least right so here's the story jeff obtained two of these power supplies from a dj right down the road from me actually he never used them he's like an impulsive buyer he just buys stuff just to have it but he never used them he stored them away for like i want to say a year never charged the batteries so he told jeff yeah here i'll give them to you for 200 bucks deal they didn't work. The batteries totally drained because the guy never conditioned the batteries. Just like anything, you know, you have to condition the batteries. You have to charge them. You can't just let them sit. So they sat, he bought them for 200 bucks. I tried to fix them, they, nothing happened. So for about a month, uh, I outsourced or tried to outsource somebody that can make these batteries, these replacement batteries. It took forever. Uh, a good friend of mine, Russell Lewis, also helped me he is a uh, he's a genius when it comes to electronics and stuff like that so he helped me I finally found somebody of course in China uh, that makes uh, is a large battery supplier a manufacturer so uh, her name was Lauren or Laura sorry her name was Laura and I emailed her I said look I said we have these power supplies these are the specs of them this is the size of the battery. These are the type of connectors that it has. Can you make these? She said, no problem. So between emails back and forth, you know how it is when you email China, they're already asleep. And then when they email you back, you're asleep. So the communication was always off. Uh, but we finally got it locked down. She gave me a price with shipping, which wasn't bad. It was like 270 bucks for two batteries. Understandable, they're coming from China. We got them in Friday and installed them and they work perfectly so they charge to 100 uh, percent actually i'm sorry we got them i brought them to to my job on monday we installed them charged them up let them run all week totally on by friday they were just standing on standby they were at like 88 89 percent which is phenomenal uh, there's no power draw we did have a problem with one of them uh, the way the software was written on the power supplier you know it the screen would stay on even when you turned it off so bought a toggle switch we installed it on the back of it we snipped it into the battery so when we're done we power it down we hit the toggle switch and it shuts all the battery power off so we're going to test these out today we're going to hook two cold sparks up to them hopefully they work and then we'll see uh we'll see how we use them on the first event hopefully fingers crossed they turn out good jay bizzle in the hizzle. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, we told I told everybody we finna finna review these batteries, man. Man, Let's we finna man, we finna slam it out right here. I got this cable that Danny forgot like all week. Oh, I forgot it? Even though you brought them to me? Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, so these are the battery or should I say power supplies with the new batteries. all the way from China. You know what surprises me, bro, is I couldn't find anybody in the US that makes these. That's bad, ain't it? That's just <laughs> unreal. It's unreal how you had to go overseas to find something, but we always want things to work for us. <laughs> oh, you gotta hit AC. AC. There it goes. There go. There's that one. Get on top of that. That in. Hit that AC button. Turn that on. I'm already sweating to death, man. Bruh, it is. It's hotter than it's Texas heat. Fish grease out here, man. 
Fish grease? Fish grease, bro. It's pretty hot, bro. Yeah, that's pretty hot. The fish not even in there. Man. Pretty rough. Fish grease is pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot, bro. I didn't even see if we got powder in these or not, bro. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure we that, do. It probably would help. <laughs> so, guys, this is going to be a game changer because... Oh, yeah. We good. You know, when you use cold sparks, you usually have to run 20, 30 feet of cable. Big time. Power cable. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you just say you went to the gym? Yep. Oh, okay. I just did. Okay. Let me get this for me. Okay. Yeah. I didn't work out my just, fingers. Just cause you put, <laughs> I didn't work out my fingers, too. <laughs> just because you put on a smaller shirt don't mean that you're Say, stronger, man. Jim. <laughs> I saw them at Old Neighbor, man. They had a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of uh, extra mediums. Oshkosh? There you go. Big gosh. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the power supply is hooked up to them. We're just letting them warm up. These usually don't take that long. No, they don't. To warm up. So this is why you always want to do a test. Just to make sure that they're clean on the inside. There was enough powder in there, right? Oh, bro, it was like a, it was a lot of it. You see it? Look at that. But you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta move it. That motor gotta move around. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that you sometimes want to carry a screwdriver with you to to shuffle. Yeah, yeah to kind of yeah. shake yeah, it up. You gotta shake it up a little bit. See how that one was? Yeah. See, that one don't look like there's that much powder in there though. Okay, so if we have more powder, which I think we got a little bit left in here. I'm gonna have to order some more from your boy, man. Man, I need, I know. What was his name again? Frank. Frank Rocha, right? Frank Rocha. That's my guy right there, man. So the good thing is, is we know that it's working. Right? Dude, it makes a big difference, bro. No cables, no extension cords. I love these handles that I put on these. This one looks pretty full. Boy, that, that thing looks full as I don't know what, man. All right. Game changer right there, man. It's a game changer, bro. Game changer. <laughs> There it is, man. That's it. That's Bro, it. That's it right there, man. It, it, it. 85%. What did it drop down to? 85. Oh, shit, they can, go, they can go on. Yeah, you can just. You can use them all night. Yeah. That's it. So there it is, the Chinese power supplies, right? So this is model, what, JL875-B01. Uh, they work, man, with the yeah. new batteries, so. Very lightweight. Very and compact. you can put them wherever you need them. Exactly. What so this is, this is good for a lot of um, brides. I know a lot of brides, they want to have cold sparks as they walk in. Yep. And then they want to go immediately to the first dance. If you have a, a roadie, they can just pick them up and you can assist them. They're very light, you know what I mean? To pack around. Well, you just got out of the gym, so. Yeah, I just got out of the gym, sorry. Pretty light, that. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty light, you can, but as you can see, it's very com very compact, very easy to move around. So just power it off, and then this one we just hold down. 
it's hard to see in the sunlight. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, so there's that one. Hold it down. Now it's off. That's off. Yeah. And then we gotta press this button in the back. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Game changer, bro. It's a game changer. Yes. Battery packs work great.